Effort is the driving force of happiness and satisfaction. It's Friday morning. It's beautiful. The air smells awesome. Tons of birds. And I'm running a little bit late today. Like I was supposed to be at work two minutes ago or late. <laughs> but I'm starting an hour early, so. Do what you wanna do. for the grad party. Were you embarrassed when I asked them to be on the vlog? Was uh, me embarrassed? Yeah. No, I sort of explained a little about vlogging earlier. Really... Do you think I'm gonna get a chance to cut that grass tomorrow? I think we focus on cutting around where we're gonna be. You can't go to any other store except that safe thing to buy beer? Right. What about wine? You can buy that elsewhere? Nope. No? It, any Every, liquor. All liquor at the store only. Well, actually, no, that's not true. You can get liquor at the gas station, and they do have it at the grocery store. I'm sorry. Beer, too. All of it. All of it. Beer, I don't know if they have wine. They have coolers. What's the difference? Is it cheaper at the state store? Cheaper at the grocery store? Is it the state store? I think it's probably more expensive at the grocery store. Okay, state store is cheaper. Um, it's retro, doesn't it? Totally. It looks like it has a really nice seat, like it would be comfortable to ride in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. I went. Um, you know, a spin, you know, spin class cycling. Um, yeah. Gary was doing that. It's usually piled right there. So yeah, um, maybe six months ago, we were in Florida. I used to walk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Come with me. We have so many sneakers. This is free. It's okay. I went to the spin class. <laughs> Never again. I sat there. First of all, it was boring as uh -huh. all can be. You're just going, and this person jelly. Like, oh, we're Jesus, we're gonna hyper. And then I'm running, and Gary said, "What are you doing?" I said, "My butt is numb." Uh -huh. And the screaming in my ears. I said, "This is like watching the grass grow." I mean, this is just hard, you know. And I told him, "I said, don't, just don't even suggest it. It's not happening again. I am never in my life doing that again." Those are the most uncomfortable seats. I'm not kidding you. I was numb. I was like, "Where is the fun in this? Where is the fun?" <laughs> I mean, exercise doesn't have to be torturous. Exactly. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> Think about this jam that was made in 2015. You think it's any good or we'll throw it away? Well, I think if we haven't eaten it since 2015, I'm not planning on eating it. But maybe we could give it away. For what, Christmas gifts or something? Yeah. Christmas. I like that idea. Grad favors. We'll change the date on it. Yeah. Okay, I have to go find out what I'm gonna wear. Is that all the beer now? No, there's uh, bottles, piece of bottles in there, I think. I can move that. Oh, there's two cases still. Oh, I can carry one. I saw over here for uh, the equipment down there. We got here. Look, all the cameras and stuff. Or they said it's just for your doing your yoga. The big claim of the So, how often do you do that? Well, I was doing it on Wednesday night, like the Facebook Live, like yoga thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One of the players. For how long? Yeah. Yeah, it was about 30 minutes. I started doing it in November. So then people just come on to your blog with you? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if anyone actually does do it and log on. But I feel like at this point in the game, it's more of a personal development exercise. But now I'm going to tell you how I was accepted to Harvard University. I talked about Sally. And after I was admitted, the admissions director told us that during the admissions process, basically a board of admissions people sit in a room and display your entire application on a large screen. And then they talk about what kind of a person they think you are. Curious as to what they said, I revisited my application and found one of my essays. The one I lovingly call the salad essay. Forrest Gump was very wrong. Who needs chocolate when life is like a salad? You definitely know what you're going to get. 
Salad, often pegged as the most boring and flavorless meal option, reserved for those looking to stay trim, is seriously misunderstood. Flamboyant balsamic vinaigrette dances across your tongue as you listen to the acute crispness of spinach, baby romaine, and radish shavings trick your teeth into biting harder than necessary. A note of umami-like flavor confuses your energized taste buds as mushrooms and Parmesan cheese add a certain flattery to your bite in a glorious compilation. Or you could eat raw iceberg lettuce. If life is like a salad, everybody starts out with some greens as a base. This would be simply living, just getting by with food, shelter, and water. Some people will ignore the topping bar and go straight for the fork, resulting in a stark meal and therefore a cheap way to live. The choice to get the most out of your salad, to put in the effort and create a pursuit for happiness, is what matters to me. If life is like a salad, what you put into it is what you get out. Effort is the driving force of happiness and satisfaction. I live my life with the goal of becoming a brimming salad, with the compassion and forgiveness of carrots, the zest and creativity of an orange vinaigrette, the intellect and drive of sunflower seeds, and the comfort and dependability of staple topping croutons. I almost can't believe I wrote that and sent it to Harvard. I mean, my opening line was, Forrest Gump was very wrong. But I know, how can a 17-year-old, now 18, offer life advice? What can I possibly say when I have hardly lived? Does that make me arrogant? Assumptive? Naive? Perhaps it is the innocence that comes with youth and the inexperience in what everybody seems to refer to as the real world that allows me to perceive the world as I do. After all, Mr. Krauss said that young people are able to accomplish great things because they haven't learned how to fail yet. There is a quote that has great meaning to me, and some of you may have heard it on Grey's Anatomy. What I lack in natural ability, I make up for in discipline. I am not the most talented, nor am I the brightest, but I will try to be the best. It's about believing you are capable and worthy of your rewards. If you think with your whole heart that you will be successful, you will. If you are willing to sacrifice for your passion, and to do whatever it takes and put in all of the hard work and more, your dreams will come true. My dream is coming true. Harvard graduate Donovan Livingston said that at the core, none of us were meant to become. We were born to be comets, darting across space and time, leaving our mark as we crash into everything. <laughs>